Hey guys, Mary here with GameSpot Presents The Mix at E3 2015, and I am here with Sean Baptiste from Adult Swim Games. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, no worries. And you are here to show up. You're here to pimp a yeah, game yep. on behalf of uh, Video oh, Cult. Video Cult. Yeah, they're uh, make makers of this game, fine game, Rain World, that this we're publishing. This is so cool. It's more known as Slug Cats the Game. <laughs> Let's take a look at it right now. It's just, like one of the coolest looking games. Visually, it's absolutely like so interesting. I've never seen anything like this unique, but the character itself is just dragging on its front two paws there. Yeah. It's the best part of a cat and the best part of a slug mixed together. They're uh. all the best parts. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no bad parts of a cat or a slug. They just morphed them together to form this mutant being <laughs> that's absolutely adorable. And you're in this pretty dark world. Um, <laughs> you grab the, I you know you can gra grab bats yeah. in this. Look at it, you yeah, grab a you, bat. If you grab a bat and then just hold, uh, the bat will get eaten. He eats it? Yeah, he eats the bat. Because uh, <laughs> right now for this uh, for this demo, the idea is to get seven bats before you get and eat them before you get back to your nest. Uh -huh. uh, that's not the full thing of the final game, but uh, for the purposes of this demo, uh, that's what's going I on. I mean, everything I've ever seen of this game always kind of does look like a developer demo, though. It still looks like they're kind of fine-tuning this. They're yeah. still a little early on? Yeah, they're still a little bit early on. They're adding polish. They're adding levels and um, more story uh, to it and everything. Right what now, is the story? Right now is uh, you are a slug cat. Okay. <laughs> done. It. There no, you uh, go. Done. You don't need more <laughs> than that. Yeah, you play a slug cat that's lost uh, their family okay. um, and their friends and all the other slug cats, and you're trying to go through this ancient, ruined civilization where this deadly Shiny. rain is always coming through. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a real rock that you can throw to I defend love yourself. You can do that. So you can throw can you throw that at the bats? Yeah, uh, not at the bats but because there they're is above. bad guys. Oh, there are bad guys in galore. This it is, he's one of them. <laughs> um, Watch out. Oh no. No. He got you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're good. And now you're dead. <laughs> so that's like one of the things is it's really a survival platformer. Uh -huh. Essentially, you're really trying to make it through the, you, there's so much exp, uh, exploration that you're doing and trying to explore these ancient ruins while trying to get back to your family um, and your friends and all of that. So, mm -hmm. so there is a, there's and there's no health bar here. So when they touch you, you're dead. When it, it's, it's not even if they touch you, if, if their mouth has to sort of like grab onto okay. you. Um, and you can tell like, that's one of the things that's so awesome about this game is the the animation style for the slug cat. I don't know if anything's been done like this before. Uh, the, they have created this sort of, with slug cat, he um, has this Run. procedural physics-based animation. Uh -huh. So you're basically live controlling a rag doll in a lot of ways that has these animation sets. And it's just, it looks so different. So I'm trying to get down there before he gets me. Ah. Yeah, it looks <laughs> incredibly unique and interesting. And I absolutely love his animations. They are really different and uh, I love it. There's all sorts of different uh, touches that they've put into these slug cats from yeah. when they're climbing up a pole to where they're on top of a pole and they're balancing precariously. They're like so... Oh, we got a terrifying bat, right? Or, uh, spider right there. Oh my gosh. That they can Those things scare the crap out of me. <laughs> I, there's like, it's, it's such a cute game, but it also is legitimately terrifying. Yeah, you, this game, oh God, this I game absolutely, chased. run. <laughs> <laughs> no slug cat, no. This game <laughs> absolutely rides the line of cute and frightening. Yeah. And it does that really well. The, the slug cat itself, absolutely adorable, really interesting, love to look at it. Everything else makes me uncomfortable. And that's like exactly <laughs> probably the vibe they were going through. Yeah, and, and the, the thing is too, the world changes the way you play it. So um, the stronger creatures that survive and make it, they go on to breed and create new creatures. So the world is constantly dynamically changing based on the way you play, um, which is also terrifying. <laughs> it means sometimes you want to get rid of the, the harder things so that they don't have children and ruin you later. Right. Um, and there's over 700 rooms in the game, over 12 different regions. So, so there's a lot to uncover here that yeah. we're not, we're like scratching the surface. Oh yeah, definitely like scratching the surface. Oh no. Throw I don't know if rock. I can get out of here. Oh. Can you take fall damage? Uh, not the slug cats die, or slug do they cats, just they, morph? They, they can if there's nothing around. Oh, he's right behind me. <laughs> Run! Oh, I don't know. It's so dark. I can't see it. Oh, yeah, he got <laughs> me. Dead. He got me. That's what happens. They're super dead. Here is game over. So we can go back to a different world. But as you can see, even in, in this demo, we have a, a bunch of different levels. There's stuff inside of cities. There's stuff in the oceans. Yeah, there's, let's check uh, out some more new. The uh, Let's go with Sky Islands. I remember that one being that sounds super lovely. fun. 
Um, and, you know, each of the regions looks very, very different and has its own visual look. Yeah. Um, now, what is it with uh, the ability to transport like that? So these, these little tube tunnels yeah. that these slug cats are able to so, use. So the tunnels, if there are arrows, oh, I think, oh, I think I'm going to die if I go down here. Uh, if you go through, yep, Aww. I died. Uh, so if you go. Hang in there, kitty. <laughs> so if you have, uh, like, those tunnels that have arrows on them, uh, those ones will just bring you to a different place in the room. So you see this one that I'm, oh, oh. man, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's a record for slug death. Oh, poor slug cat's never going to see his family again. So uh, you, if you see the little arrow right there, that'll mean it'll bring me to a different place in the room. Uh -huh. Whereas if it has those three vertical lines, that brings me to a different room. So, oh. Death again. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes it, some of these will go to a different level that's a little bit Maybe <laughs> less, less terrifying less, for me. Less death prone. Um, we'll go to the suburban level. But you're exploring. The other thing is, I mean, there's all these different creatures, and they breed, and they have different, uh, they have, uh, you know, different abilities, and some are stronger. They have AI that is individual to each creature. Uh, so not even to each species, but each creature has mm -hmm. its own sort of personality to it. And as you're playing, they get stronger and stronger depending on how you play. And it's just, it's weird how, like, just how much AI is in this simple little game. But it's, uh... I think this is the kind of game that, uh, appears much m more simple than it actually is. Yeah, the simplicity, like yeah, the simplicity kind of, like, belies this incredible complexity to the world itself. Um, so we've seen, um, these... They look like evil salamander yep. type enemies. What else is there eventually that we're going to be coming across? There is uh, one of the ones that always gets me is there's this uh, vulture creature, this flying vulture creature that will just, oh, I'm trying to not, there Get we go, there. Woo! Uh, that can just descend down and just ruin you. Uh, spiders, which we saw a little bit earlier, and there's a lot more creatures that are getting worked on right now that are really, really cool. Um, they've, they've done an excellent job just building out tons and tons of stuff. <laughs> horrifying, you, horrifying stuff. And, and like in, in this particular one, is there an objective for this particular area? Uh, for this build, for this, this oh one. God. Oh, no. Is oh, no, a green just one. Is to live in every one of these? Yeah, it's basically to survive and explore. In the game, what you're doing is exploring these old ruins, and you're finding mysteries in them. And the mysteries that you find oh change God. the nature of the world that you're... Um, that you're in, um, and because it's you know it's always developing dynamically. Oh, he's right behind me. Run, <laughs> um, cat! I am so scared of this guy. <laughs> I'm so scared of him. <laughs> but yeah, this is it, there's there's a lot more that's coming that we're going to be talking about over the next couple of months. And I'm going to eat this bat right Do now. Do it. Just gotta wait. Oh, maybe I can if the he's right behind me. You're like that's fair. Not the bottom of the food chain, oh. at least. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, that's the thing is like in a lot of games, you're the kind of like alpha predator. Or you're like at the bottom of the food chain, and in this game, you're right in the middle. There's the bats below you. There's the these horrifying creatures above you. There's also uh, one of the things, the spiders that we had that uh, you saw before. There's a different type of spider that you can pick up, and it's just a light source. So there's levels that are completely pitch black. Interesting, and, and we've seen a little bit of that before, where the enemy um, who's glowing. Even though he's evil, he was helping light the area. So yeah, you might which, actually need them in Yeah, so, so you have to make sometimes decisions about how you're proceeding, whether you want to lure one of them into an area that's dark. And I think this is probably going to be Run. where he dies. Oh, no. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> you're alive. No, you're not. Oh, I'm... He's, he's, yeah, he's trying to get me. He is, de and no, they will follow you for as long as they can uh, to make sure you do it. But yeah, I can't believe you're still alive. <laughs> me neither. Well, I want that slug cat. Maybe we're friends to now. Remain forever. Oh, there he is, <laughs> grabbed by the deck. And you're dead. <laughs> well, Sean, thank you so much for thank, showing us that. Thank you for having us. Uh, when can we expect to see Rain World? We are still working on it, but um, we will be follow Adult Swim Games uh, on a Twitter, and we will be announcing dates very, very shortly. Okay, well, that was Slug Cats the Game, and you can read more about that on GameSpot or check out Adult Swim Games. And for all your other GameSpot news, be sure to head to GameSpot.com. I'll keep saying GameSpot. <laughs> okay.